five-year-old Katie happily takes treats from her parents. They're all celebrating. The lab mix is now cancer-free. She's my little sweetie pie. We go on walks, we play, we do everything. Mom Pam and Dad Fred remember getting hit with the horrifying news last summer after doctors found a tumor on Katie's leg. It was it was a it was a gut punch and it was um, it, it was tough. It was hard to hear. Along with tests, Katie had surgery, radiation, and chemotherapy. The price tag for their four-legged family member's treatment without insurance? The amount that we were uh, were paying was about seventeen thousand dollars in a. Uh, a, a couple of months time frame. It's just so much all at once. Which is why the couple says they were grateful to learn about the Brody Fund, a nonprofit dedicated to offering financial assistance to pet owners whose cats and dogs are suffering with cancer. We call it giving the gift of time. We can help them. If we can, if we can help them financially, why not? You know, I mean, as long as there is a good quality of life for the animal, why wouldn't you want to help? Founder Sally Williams named the organization after her beloved cat Brody, who died of cancer in 2016. During his radiation treatment, she spent every weekday at the animal hospital, listening to other pet owners try to come to terms with the sad news. And you'd hear these conversations about, OK, we just got this diagnosis. Our dog or cat has cancer. The treatment is this much. How do we do this? And what are our options? Which is why the animal lover created the Brody Fund. In the past two years, the nonprofit has awarded more than $35,000 in grants. The recipients don't have insurance for their four-legged companions, and pet owners must supply their financial information on the online application. The Brody Fund relies on grants, fundraising events, and donations. It took away some of the financial anxiety and let us just focus on, on Katie as a patient. Almost half of dogs over the age of 10 will develop cancer, according to the American Veterinary Medical Association. ABMA says there's less information about the rate of cancer in cats, although some cancers are more common in cats than in dogs. Veterinarian oncologist Dr. Kendra Pope started caring for Katie after her cancer treatment. She says pet owners can learn from the animals battling the disease. They don't know what's going on. They don't carry the burden. They live in the moment. You know, they can teach us so much about just day to day. So far, the Brody Fund has awarded more than 20 grants to cats and dogs like JD, which they provide directly to participating hospitals throughout New Jersey, New York and Connecticut. JD was diagnosed with cancer about six months ago. Doctors discovered a tumor on his leg and he received $1,500 from the Brody Fund. These are your best friends, you know, these are your children. He's my son, technically, you know, so when someone can come in and help you get them better, um, it's, it's, it's priceless. Nine-year-old JD is taking an oral chemotherapy drug. Mom Gina Caputo says she's happy her boy is getting the care he needs. Sally loves seeing the dogs and cats who benefited from the grants. To meet the animals that we've helped, I mean, you can't help but want to keep doing this and grow it. She hopes to one day expand the nonprofit nationwide. As for Fred's hope for Katie. I hope she gets to chase as many squirrels as she wants and chew things and break stuff. Uh, she can do whatever she wants. <laughs> She's got a free pass for life. Absolutely. <laughs> In Red Bank, I'm Lauren Wonko and JTV News.